Hello guys and welcome back for another video with Paul Family. I'm Daniel. I'm Natalia. And we are back with our reaction. Uh, this one is from Los Leblanc. What seven days in Bali is really like? Will you live here? Again, uh, we're gonna have, uh, yeah, Bali is not uh, only Indonesia, or Indonesia is not only Bali. <laughs> but if everybody's saying, uh, check uh, Los Leblanc video or check that video and it's with Bali, what can we do? Nothing? Yeah, no, God. Uh, we, we didn't gonna, look just videos with Bali. We gonna check it because uh, everybody said that we should check it. And uh, yeah, this was from 20th so, of April, 3-4 days ago. He recorded 7 days straight to show you how we moving to Bali. Now, you know, we've seen a video from him, what to He's do doing like 14 days in uh, Indonesia, something like mm -hmm. that. And he was telling you what you could do each day. Don't forget if you are new and enjoying watching these videos with us, subscribe, like it, the notification bell to stay up to date to know when we're gonna post our next videos. Don't forget to check the original video from uh, Christian and uh, Lost Leblanc. Lost Leblanc, Christian. He's Christian as well. His name. I was thinking you were thinking. No, Christian. no, no, no. He's Christian as yeah. well. His name is Christian. I know. Lost Leblanc, Christian channel. You're gonna find it in the description. Ready? 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 Go! Today I'm going to be showing you what a week in the life here in Bali looks like. It's going to be raw, it's going to be unfiltered, because the purpose of this video is to show you if this lifestyle is the life that's calling for you. Eight months ago, I left Bali thinking I'd be gone for maybe a month or two. But then the country went into lockdown. My best friend Ruby went back to Los Angeles to work. I started traveling the world and we went into this period of extreme long distance, seeing each other for two weeks at a time and then going apart for a month. That's been our life for the last eight months. But she's finally home. It's been way too long. No more long distance. And we're celebrating it today in the most beautiful way possible. We're come back here to the Mandapa Reserve, which is in Ubud. This place is so, so magical. Today, we're just focusing on us, spending time, catching up. The camera's kind of going away. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Hi, you guys. Thank you. Finally, we're back in action. So now I'm going to start this video off the way it was meant to. A week in the life of Bali, and it starts right here with our final moments at Mandapa. This entire place is in a valley. The river runs around the property. This we've Imagine. seen it before. And look at this. What? We've seen this. What? Place before, or no? Don't know. Don't remember. Okay, just there's somebody don't know that we need to go say hi to. Maybe you've yeah, seen a few shots. I'm sure they're just dying to see us. Maybe right you've seen a few no, shots from else. Is Manda, and over there, that's Appa, and they are the resort house. I've had quite a few spa treatments, but this is actually top three hotel spa I've ever been in. This is so special because while you're having a massage, you can hear the river, and it's so relaxing. Hello. This is where the lovely ladies <laughs> are going to be massaging us. I'm ready to go see the puppies. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I hope we'll come back soon. <laughs> the best part of the resort oh, is these so people right here. It makes my heart warm. We're leaving the gates of paradise and taking you to another version of paradise. That is home. Changu. This girl right here. And this guy hasn't seen Ruby in eight months. <laughs> Girly. Yeah, you being a good girl. We've been invited to a local Balinese ceremony. Okay, beautiful. I've never trusted a stranger so blindly with my fashion choices. I went with the all pink options. My fashion Quite choices. Nice. <laughs> you like adventure? Cross Raya Changu during rush hour. Oh my God. Bali is a Hindu island, and even though there's other Hindu regions in the world, the island has many practices that are only seen here, and tooth filing is one of them. In Bali, yeah, culture, I've seen this. That having Whoa. sharp things tooth here in your teeth mean that it brings out the impurities and the evil from a human spirit, yeah. and it becomes more animalistic. And mm. Instead of leaving it there, you're gonna file them and become more yeah. human. Like. Wow. So what? <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen I've seen a video. 
So every home has their own temple gate and today they have completely decorated it. Oh, uh, hello, how are you? One of the people that had their tooth filed today is Ade. You can see here the detail is incredible. And so they've had about 100 people come through today and five of the children had their teeth filed. So now it, we're kind of here at the later part of the day where it's more the celebrations, more people All are the children are gonna have it, but I don't know what specific age. Families. Especially girls. By Bali's biggest celebrity. <laughs> oh my. How many are there? I, I don't know, six, six or seven? Legend here in Bali. They're the happiest dogs in the world. <laughs> Do you want to go on a walk? Come on, let's go for a little run. So handsome, man. I swear I do things productive as well, but here it comes. The best cinnamon rolls I've ever seen. Cinnamon had. rolls. Oh. A bunch of fellow Dutch friends. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. It is breakfast time for all of us. The whole family gets to eat. What do we have today? Eggs and sausage. Today's Tuesday, and you can tell Ruby's home because I didn't go, Jack. I have food here, made from home. <laughs> The guys from Gojek, they're gonna call you up. What's yeah, going what's on? going on? <laughs> what? Fire Robbie. What are you doing? We have two dogs, as you've seen, and getting them around on my motorbike doesn't work. They have nowhere to sit. We've been looking for a family commuter. Oh, and... they don't have where to sit. Have you seen that guy with six dogs? Yeah. Oh, they don't have a scooter, so we're gonna go get it right now. We're gonna go get my new Scoopy today. It's not a Scoopy though. Uh, Vespa? I'm like, are you sure you wanna do this? Prank! We're getting uh... a pogo stick. <laughs> I am so excited for this. It's like this red one, but in green. This is so beautiful. I'm ready. Woo! <laughs> wow. Definitely one dog will fit. It's cute, huh? One dog oh will fit. Yay! Oh, it's so nice. It rides so smoothly. Yeah, it's very smooth. Yeah. Are we getting it? When the weather is not cooperating, Luckily, you can buy this on the side of the road. <laughs> so, I've just come here to Dopio Cafe. That's good, one eh? Of my favorite breakfast spots. And I'm getting breakfast with a friend who's actually right now in the process of building. This right here is Natalia Hello. and Chad. And they're building in Uluwatu. I'm so excited because it's going to be my dream home. We have about seven months to finish now. Yeah. The business guy is there. Yeah. I look after the pretty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They're six months ahead of me in the construction process, so it's really great to chat with people who hopefully can help me find the right contractor, skip a lot of the pains that can come with yeah. this process, because I've heard a lot of horror stories. Very excited to see Villa Zylo. Yes. So nice to see you guys. Hey, Appreciate it, man. We're going to get huh. some food. So this is uh, you said you're gonna fire him? That I Robbie. Know, at least in <laughs> and uh, it gets super <laughs> so busy still here. most nights, but it's a cool spot. We're gonna get a beer? A beer never goes astray. Oh, I've been for, in now for a week. And how's the food scene? Uh, the food scene is phenomenal. Like the value you get for money and the flavors that you're getting out of it is just off the charts. The flavors per dollar spectrum, like that's <laughs> that's for me a metric that I look at when traveling. You get a lot of flavors for your dollar. For, for your dollar, a lot, a lot. Oh, oh yeah. Burger. Thank you, boss. That was so quick. That was that's a massive burger. Ow. Hot. So. I didn't think my day would bring me here. Like, <gasps> it's full of unexpected. And uh, Ruby, unfortunately, has a bit of an infection. Everything seems to be okay. But we're definitely taking precautions and making sure to get it handled now rather than wait. Friday nights in the hospital. At least I got some YouTube. I'm watching my friend Mike Corey travel through Sudan. Why are you filming right now? When you lose your health, you lose everything. Nothing more important in the world. This is probably the best hospital in Bali, guys. If ever something goes wrong, you get an infection, you get in an accident, it's called Siloam. But to be honest, when things get really bad, you need to get to Singapore. My ex-assistant, Max, he got misdiagnosed here. And again, this is probably the best hospital. It seemed like it was just a toothache, but it became something really menacing, and it almost spread to his bloodstream. And the doctor told him, a different doctor that if he had waited another day he could have died in this hospital so pretty crazy stuff it's a good thing we've got that taken care of go get checked out even if you don't think it's much feeling better no good morning mm -hmm. so today 
we woke up and we are going to one of our favorite spots, which is BGS Bali Coffee. Ruby will be shaking I'm, all day. I'm actually not gonna, I'm gonna do decaf today. I'm not gonna drink. Nice to meet you, Ruby. Infection, what kind of infection? Really cool. I don't know. My friends, didn't say. They're being sold here. Check it out. Cam and Kelsey sell notebooks, they sell dog collars. It's cool to see them on display here. Look, Ruby. Thank you. Oh, the smile's nice. Yeah. One of the best cappuccinos on the island. This is one of our favorite little breakfast spots. It's not that popular, it's not that famous. That's what makes it so good. This one is definitely one to get. It's the sourdough basil feta. Or in Ruby's case, you got the croissant. A giant, yummy, sweet, delicious croissant. All right, breakfast, coffee. But now, it's time to sweat a little. I've been off the gym for like four days now, which is unacceptable. Oh, that's the cold one. She's gonna beat me, so I'm just gonna surrender. Every time, 10 times out of 10, she will always win. And now, we go from breakfast to lunch. Where are we gonna eat? I don't know. Where should we eat? I'll show you a cool spot. This is Gojak? a cool spot that I think you guys should check out. Swadung <laughs> Local. So basically, everything is already made, already cooked, which, as long as there's high traffic, it's is like a buffet. A really thing. If it's something that's been sitting, it could be a little yeah. risky, but all this is very fresh. Do I get ready for this? Maybe yours looks delicious. No, I'm excited. It's big looks nice. Too. It's a lot of food. All of this is 64,000. That's like four dollars roughly. And how much for a coconut? Coconut 25. I'm just very grateful today. It's been a perfect day. This is Legend Bracelet, and they are sponsoring today's video. Basically what you got here is this really cool magnetic clasp bracelet that has a story. You've got one capsule that comes filled. Each of them represent the project that they're supporting because 50% of the profits from Legend Bracelet go right back to supporting the environment, communities, and really incredible projects. The other capsule is to be filled by you. Simply unscrew this, and now you can fill it with sand, minerals, plants, anything that you hold dear to you, that goes inside here. Now get this, if we sell 200 of these, the Los LeBlanc community will be building a well for the people of Sierra Leone, bringing them clean drinking water. For the first 100 people who use the code LOST, you'll also be getting 30% off your own legend bracelet. And as a contributor, your name will be written on the well. And we're gonna fill it up with some minerals from a freaking volcano. How dope is that? Now I've got volcano on my wrist. If you head over to the website in the link down below, you can see which one is the best color and cause for you. All right, guys, the time has come. Thank what color are you? Couch. She did it. It's her fault. <laughs> Green. What they are that doing? Right there is going to be a decor behind the couch whenever the couch is repaired because, you know, they ate it. And I was thinking it would be cool to get some painting or something, but then I was like, what's better than memories? We actually got a Polaroid printer so I could take some of my iPhone photos and print them off. So this is actually after our first date. You want to hang that? Yeah. This is Max's last day of work. We miss you. <laughs> So many great memories. Hey guys, happy Monday. So we usually get all of our groceries from three different places. My number one go-to place would be Bali Direct. Number two would probably be Bali Buddha and Alive Whole Foods. And then the small things we just get from the general market, like pepitos. So this is what our order looks like. And they try to bring everything in eco-friendly packaging. This is Leon Putu, and he is an amazing chef. And he comes to your home and cooks whatever meals you want. Today, Leon will be cooking us a keto friendly meal. I decided that we should be keto this week, but Christian doesn't know that. He just thinks the recipes sound really good. <laughs> now show it me. It smells so good. This is all the food. Amazing. Thank you so much. I never want to order food again. <laughs> is that good? You can taste how healthy it is. We'll be eating this for the entire week and then we'll enjoy our weekends with unhealthy restaurant food. Mm -hmm. the so that's for the whole here. week. We've been waiting yeah. an entire week for our best butt to come and it's Oh, the Beautiful. green, yeah. It's time to test it out. Can it fit not only one, but two Pucherinos? All right, we got one up. Good girl. Oops. The family minivan is loaded up. Do you think they're going to stay there? Don't know. Today's our first road trip. Woo. Morning, Arjun. Ryan, starting our morning off with a bit of gas. I always start my morning <laughs> off with a bit of gas. 
That was at least an hour and a half on the bike. Windy, windy roads. Look where we are. Wow. Up in the mountains with the most immaculate view I've ever seen here in Bali. It is so, so stunning. So right now we are in Pingan area. There's not just one volcano, but there's three around us. So that is Batur. That is... A bong and the other one is a gong. Wow. A gong and There's a something bong. something about getting up for sunrise. When 4 a.m. comes around and your alarm's going off, you start to have second thoughts. But when you commit to it, it's always worth it. We're now going to take you to a couple spots that I think are super unique. I should have taken you more seriously, Cam. You said dress warm. It's cold. Now yeah. Your hands oh, man. are Dude. so cold. Hey, hey. Oh, boy. Cam, what should I do? <laughs> take me home. You can't. Oh. Just can't. The kitty has a home. Thank God, I was that close. <laughs> <laughs> Was that close Was that to take close it home? To take it, yeah. <laughs> when you get into the countryside of Bali, hello, you generally don't get coffee. It's usually more of a Western thing. So when you get out here into the countryside and there's nothing but coffee shops, it's so shocking. But that is one of the unique things and one of the reasons you might want to make a day trip out of coming to Kintamani. I haven't tried the coffee yet, but I can already say it doesn't matter how it tastes. Just look at that view. Those are our craters from when the volcano erupted. And that is lava. It's surprisingly Ooh. incredible. The coffee out here. Now Cam knew what he was doing. Ordered the mocha. That's the call. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> I asked for one cookie and they brought me a whole plate. They knew to the weight of my heart instantly. <laughs> We're gonna go to the next coffee shop to continue our coffee taste test. So every single day, I'm How many putting coffee out a short drink? form piece of content on TikTok. And those are strong, no? Instagram, Don't know. And I just did a taste testing of four different coffee shops to find my favorite, and I found it right here. They actually have oat milk, no one else did, so that was kind of like a very easy advantage. But this coffee is my favorite by far. It's really good. Enough with the coffee. We're taking you to the lava fields. That sounds really hot. Whoa, that's lava. All of this used to be, used to be, yeah, that was sorry, that was. So, we're literally standing right now on what was lava. It's hardened and it's become a place that's absolutely terrible for a scooter. This would be a much better place for the motorbike. Want a trade? This thing's great, but it's pretty crazy. Every now and then, you're reminded of the fact that this island, in fact, this country was made by volcanoes. Eruptions have created mm -hmm. all of the landscapes you see here. And it's one of the reasons this country is one of the most beautiful in the world. It's super cool. Pass yes. the vibe check. If you guys wanna see more of these raw vlogs, just kind of a week in the life, let me know. Soon I'm starting a series where I'm gonna show you the process of buying land in Bali. I'm gonna show you what it's like to live in Uluwatu, in the Nusa Islands, and so much more. So stay tuned for that. Let's get lost again in the next one. So, this was a uh, vision, the last blank. Blah, blah. Yeah. What seven days in Bali is really like? Would you live here? If you have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> depends. Depends of your, uh, you know. Depends what you want, uh, depends if you can afford what's your, it. Um, it you, but depends. Bank account balance. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, if you're thinking, I don't know, to have a quiet, peaceful life, I believe that everybody should choose something similar. But, for the moment, if you don't have any other options, only by working 9 to 5, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You but yeah, definitely, definitely you could live. They are of like course. a peaceful, uh, quiet, uh, nice life. Uh, but like them and things uh, like uh, let's be... don't dream too yeah, far, too far because too, too uh, tomorrow uh, we're gonna go to work. So. <laughs> we <have> to go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't so forget, our dream, uh, is finished. our dream is gonna be up tomorrow <laughs> because after that, we gonna go to work don't Thank forget you if you're much. new Lost and enjoying plan. watching these videos with us subscribe like hit the notification bell to stay up to date to know when we're gonna post our next videos don't forget to check the original video from uh, Lost leblanc channel you're gonna have it in the description uh thank you for the video thank you for watching stay safe take care see you in, in the, the next, next one. one bye